Hi, this short video will go over reference books and other books, um, ebooks and print books that we have in the library that may help you. And the ebooks, even the reference ebooks, you can use 24 hours a day, seven days a week from on or off campus. If you're off campus, you will have to log in with your SC4 email address and password. So we're going to jump to that tab on the PS230 Library Research Guide. There's a one search box at the top, which you can always search for uh, books and eBooks in the one search. And there's, it's also available on the library homepage. But I pulled out some reference eBooks that might be useful to you. And I'm not going to go over all of them again, but I'll just point out how to use different ones because sometimes they're, they work a little bit different depending on who the publisher or vendor is. I'll start with Worldmark Encyclopedia of the Nations. It was published in 2017, so fairly current information. And it went to Gale eBooks. So the producer is Gale, a very reputable publisher. And we come up just with the title page, table of contents. So we could browse and search through the table of contents or we can search for a specific country. Now, if I searched up in this search box, when I'm in the scale eBooks, it, and I put in my country, I'm going to use Zambia for an example here. It would search all of the Gale eBooks that we have for Zambia, which is fine if that's what you're looking for. But if I wanted to just search this title, I can search within publication over here and type in my country. So I came up with all the areas where Zambia is mentioned within Worldmark Encyclopedia of the Nations. I'm going to choose the main heading, Zambia. I had 24 results. Then it comes up, this is a print reference book and an ebook. So the ebook looks just like it would in the print book. It gives us the country flag and then information about the country a lot of which you need for your PS230 paper. So this goes over a little bit of climate, uh, some of the uh, territory, what the territory is like, another map of the country, environment. I'm gonna scroll down because it gives some information that we didn't find in the websites. A very brief uh, discussion of migration uh, within the country and outside of the country, ethnic group, language, religion, which we did not find elsewhere, transportation, and so on, and a brief history of the country. I'm going to scroll back to the top. Okay, and what will you need when you're using this information? You need to cite it. And most of our databases will show you how to cite your sources. So right up here, this is a Gale database. So it just says CITE. We'll click on it. The Gale databases will show you how to cite MLA 9th edition first. So there's your citation. You can click three times on it, copy it and paste it, or just click select and copy it. If you want to use APA format, all you have to do is click on APA and it switches automatically to APA format for you. If you use Google Drive, you can download it automatically, the citation to Google Drive, or you can download it to your SC4 OneDrive automatically. You can also, if you wanted to print the article or download it, um, or email it to yourself. Let's say you're working on campus. You don't wanna print it. You wanna check it, look at it at home. You can just email the article to yourself. All right, I'm gonna go back. That was the first book I have highlighted there. Um, you also wanna look at some history of your country. So I'm gonna look at Encyclopedia of World History. 
this encyclopedia gives a brief history, um, but we do have multiple books, like if you're looking at Russia or Germany, Israel, etc. We have a number of print and electronic books that cover just your country and the history of it. We're now in the database called Credo, which is a collection of reference books. If I scroll down, again, if I search up in this box, we would search all of Credo, which is fine, the whole reference collection. But if I wanted to just search this title, World History, I could go down into this box. And this time I'm going to use Germany again. If I use Zambia, there is a section on Zambia, but there's quite a few on Germany here. And it gives you, it's all out of Encyclopedia of World History, it tells you how many words it is, so you can kind of get an idea of how long it is. And there's numerous sections given. So different events, East Germany, West Germany, Germany 1990 to 2000. I'm going to just click on that one to demonstrate. Uh, and so it breaks down from December 2nd, 1990, when the first all German election was held, the first one in about 60 years. Again, you can print it, uh, share it so you can email it to yourself, cite this database, be careful because this database shows you APA citation first, which is fine if you're using APA citation. But if you're using MLA, you can just check here, click three times on it, copy it and paste it into your uh, works cited. And I think Professor Forsgren doesn't care whether you use MLA or APA, just be sure you're consistent. So if you're using MLA, use MLA through the whole paper or APA. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my guide here. And then there's some other reference books that uh, might be of interest to you. Keep in mind the date. Oh, and if you mouse over the title, it tells you a little bit of information about the reference book. Like this one, Governments of the World. So it'll give you some historical information, but note it was published in 2005. So it's a little old and that's where those reputable websites are more helpful in government. And then you can see we have specific titles for certain countries too. And not everything is listed here, but I tried to pull out ones that um, will work for most people. Um, so you can use OneSearch to find out more information. And I'm going to go over OneSearch, demonstrate it in the next video. Thank you.